What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Coffee and today I'm doing an in-depth video on dialing an espresso. Now this video is going to be very formal, uh, very thorough. We're going to talk about everything and the goal is actually I'm going to use this as an internal training tool as well. But I'm going to send this to all of you. Like, this will be for you guys too. So you can dial an espresso at home. So the key to remember when we're dialing an espresso, we're working with a few variables. So we're working with grams in, which is dry coffee in. We're working with grind coarseness or fineness, you know, how that coffee is being ground. We have our tamping, we have our water temperature, and then we have our end extraction time. So what we're going to aim for here is we're looking at about 20 grams in on this particular machine with the baskets that we have in there. So 20 grams in, we're looking at slightly restricted, so we're looking at about 38 grams out, and we're hoping that should take 32 to 35 seconds. So with those variables, I'm going to take you through my process of dialing in. Now, keep in mind, if you're not switching coffees, meaning you just come in to work or you come into your place and the coffee seems to be a little off, the adjustments you're going to make are going to be very minor, meaning that that coffee should already be 90% there. You're just tweaking it a little bit to get it perfect. Now, all you're going to need for this is a scale, your grinder, your espresso machine, and that's, that's pretty much it. So guys, let's, let's get it going. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zero out our porta filter and see how much coffee's going into the basket to start. All right, guys, so first things first, we're gonna tear our porta filter here. I'm just gonna put this on here. And boom, that is, make sure that's zeroed out. And now we're gonna grind and see how much goes in there. So as you can see guys, we have way too much coffee going in there right now. Way too much, 25.3. That is a lot of coffee. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that dosage down. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make an adjustment. So we're, on this grinder, you hold the menu button. It starts flashing. Then this goes into the time. So right now it's four, 4.95 seconds. So we're gonna knock this down to probably 4.1. So we're just gonna click the menu button again and lock that in. So guys, as you can see, now we're at 21.4 grams of coffee in the porta filter. Much, much better. We're gonna make another very small adjustment and then we're probably gonna be able to pull our first shot. Alright guys, so quick note, I got the machine, I got the camera focused on the machine uh, weight, scales, and everything like that. So this machine has built-in scales, otherwise you're going to have to put your scale underneath, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull a shot, we're going to look, at, like I said, we're looking at 38 grams in, an, in about uh, 32 to 35 seconds. So we're going to see where we're at, okay? So let's see how it goes. So as you can see guys, we got 44 grams in 29 seconds. So we're going to make some adjustments. Guys, so as you just saw, we got 44 grams in 29 seconds, which is going to be probably under extracted, meaning we just got too much out of the coffee in too short of a time, which is kind of the, kind of the case here. It's a little bitter, it's kind of hollow, it doesn't have a nice palate feel, things like that. So. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust our grind. We're going to go slightly finer. Now, keep in mind, this is a critical thing and this is where you can run into trouble. So these grinders, if you think about the time setting, we're adjusting how long the burrs are spinning for. Now, if we go finer, that means the burrs are grinding less coffee. If you want to think about it that way, less coffee per second of runtime because they have to work harder, right? Now they're finer. So make sure if you're making an adjustment like this, let's say you go a little bit finer on the dial, make sure that you up the grind time just a little bit, just to keep those grams in consistent. 
So always measure and everything like that, but those two things work hand in hand. Just remember that. Okay, so we'll do a just grind this. To go finer, we're gonna go this way, this direction. Now it might, it might differ depending on your grinder, so just read the instructions on it. But all we're gonna do is remove this pin. Now guys, in coffee with grinders, adjustments, little adjustments go a long way. So, come over just a little bit, and there you go, that's it. Now we're just gonna put the pin back in so it doesn't spin on us. And there we go, that's a small adjustment. And we're just gonna up this just a little bit to go with our adjustment. Beautiful, and that's a lot. All right guys, so we're gonna see if this is the money shot. If this is, if this is the God shot that we needed. All right guys, so now we went slightly too fine. So this is probably gonna be a little uh, under extracted. Which is correct, this is very, very bright, a little bit sour. This isn't too bad. Honestly, this is this is still pretty palatable, very drinkable. But we just want to bring about a bit more balance. So now we're just gonna I'm gonna make a slight coarseness adjustment. It's gonna go through the same process and we're gonna check it again. So guys, there you have it. The God Chat, perfectly balanced. Super smooth, clean, kind of getting all of those tasting notes on the back of the coffee into the cup. So remember, if you're working at a cafe, honestly, this is something you're gonna you're gonna adjust very minimally day to day if you need it. I mean, first thing you should be doing when you come in, get your skills out and pull a shot. Now, assuming that everyone's doing this, you there might be days you do not have to touch the coffee. It's very possible you come in, the coffee's perfect. But if something's a little off. You can make a very minor adjustment and just keep it within those parameters. This is how you're gonna have nice, consistent shots all the time. Now, if you're changing coffees, if you're putting in a new coffee, it might require a bit more time, kind of like today where we went back and forth a little bit. Um, but still, it shouldn't take super long, and honestly, the taste difference is incredible. Now, always remember to taste it, guys. If you're not tasting the coffee, everything can look perfect. You know, you can have perfect grams in, grams out, everything looks nice, and then the coffee tastes really bad. So make sure you're always tasting the coffee. That is that is the ultimate test and obviously the most important part of it all. So anyways guys, thank you for watching me. Sorry if the camera focused on random things I didn't want it to during, during some of the shots, but I think you got the general gist of it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.